We're rolling. All right. So Chelsea and, and I. Clip. Are we ready? Okay. Yep, we're um, ready. <laughs> <laughs> the topic that we chose originally was about massage therapy and the benefits of massage therapy. Um, so an article that we found was titled "Massage Therapy Versus Traditional Therapy for Low Back Pain Relief: Implications for Holistic Nursing Practice." And I know that's a big shocker. Has anything to do with nursing coming out of me? But mm -hmm. okay, we'll talk about it. Um, so the study, um, basically exactly what the title says, looking at massage therapy versus traditional therapy for low back pain in patients. Um, so there was actually two different ways they worded their purpose. They did have a section that said the purpose of this study is, and the question was, do persons experiencing low back pain report a significant difference in perception of pain relief versus massage therapy? No, oh, with massage therapy versus traditional therapy. So that's what they stated overtly. And then later on um, in the methodology, they, their question was, is massage therapy supportive, therapeutic, or not helpful for low back pain? So really it's two different questions they're looking at there. Um, so we thought that was interesting that they blatantly said one thing and then later on sort of switched it up. But they also wanted to bring in the fact um, that they wanted to talk about nurses and how they would use this information. So another purpose that was not as overtly stated, but it was within their introduction. Um, basically it said nurses need clear answers when patients seek advice about holistic health care. So really looking back at this, I think their purpose was seeing how nurses were going to use this information of the study um, in answering that question. So um, the literature review, they did um, they did say that there was not yet enough research and trial to evaluate massage therapy versus traditional therapy for low back pain. So all the information that they found didn't um, support that, so that's why they felt this study was needed. Um, in their literature review, they had looked originally at um, the time frame of 1990 to 2004, however they felt they needed to go back even further to find reliability and look at some foundational research in order to um, draw conclusions. So. And in their literature review, there was a lot of information, however, they sort of listed it in paragraph form. So it was kind of like boom, 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 boom at you. It didn't flow all that great. And it also didn't talk about the study itself within that literature review and how it was going to apply to um, the study. So, um, so talking about appropriate literature cited, they did talk about lit review in three different sections. So it was really easy for the reader to understand where they, where the authors were going with their lit review and also their study. So they broke it down into pain reduction, safety and cost, and the third one was patterns of use, attitudes, and knowledge. So it was really helpful to decipher their thought process. However, the first two categories were really about the purpose that they clearly defined, um, difference between traditional and massage, and massage therapy. And the third one was more about the underlying purpose that they mentioned about nursing knowledge, views of this practice and application and practice. So then we'll go to um, methodology and method. For the study design, um, we believe the authors did use an appropriate method of study. Um, they used a two-factor by three-factor um, comparative research design. So the two-factor one was the massage therapy versus traditional therapy. And then the three factor that was um, compared was the three different administrations of the questionnaire that they administered. Um, the manuscript also discussed theoretical framework in which to discuss um, and base the study results upon. And this framework was, they used Levine's con conservation principles. And we just noticed afterwards that um, this, frame, this theoretical framework was discussed a lot, but it wasn't really um, it wasn't explained as one of the objectives, so that was one thing we noticed and wondered about why they didn't kind of make that clear in the purpose section, I guess. Um, as for the population and sample, the population of the study was non-randomized convenient sample of 60 consenting patients. Um, the group was divided into two groups, one got the traditional therapy and one the massage therapy. Um, 30 participants in each group. Um, we thought the sample would have been more reliable with a larger population um, using a control group and random participants instead of the convenient sample to avoid more bias. Um, the study was written by, the authors that wrote the study were associated with the same hospital and also the same university. So we thought that could also be 
potentially viewed as a bias to the study depending on the institution's personal interest in funding and philosophy. Um, as for data analysis, um, we thought that was done appropriately. The two groups were comparable demographically. They each had like a similar breakdown of ethnicity and um, gender and age and things like that. Um, the data from the two groups were separated and analyzed comparatively. Um, so it seemed like appropriate measures were taken to make sure it was the data was analyzed between all variables. Um, as for the instrumentation, um, they used an ODI questionnaire, which stands for Oswestry Disability Index. So without being nursing experts, we can't say for sure how appropriate that, that tool was, but the manuscript did mention that that tool has been used historically with results, so we assume that it was appropriate. Um, the procedures, we, we thought those were clearly delineated. Um, the results were studied by that, that um, questionnaire that I mentioned. And these questionnaires were distributed before treatment, immediately after treatment, and one mo month post-treatment. Um, and if any individuals did not complete it, they would just enroll more until they had 60. So <clears throat> in the end, they had um, 72 that participated, 60 of which completed all three parts of the questionnaire. So for the findings and conclusions, um, the study findings answered the clearly stated purpose of the study. So that question was, do persons experiencing low back pain report a significant difference in perception of pain relief with massage therapy versus traditional therapy? Um, it did find that traditional therapy showed slightly greater pain relief, but they still found that there was a significant decline in pain using the massage therapy. Um, they also addressed some conclusions that weren't really related to the purpose, some just extra findings that they threw in there. Um, one relating to that living study framework that we talked about earlier that ended up being kind of an underlying purpose, but they didn't really present it as a purpose in the beginning. Um, there was also a conclusion that was noted that we found kind of contradictory. Um, they stated that the two types of therapy, massage therapy and traditional therapy, um, would be beneficial if used together. But in the study, they never, none of the groups were administered the, the therapies together. It was all separate, so we didn't think that was probably an appropriate or relevant conclusion. Um, the analysis of data was consistent with the stated conclusions. Um, there were slight variances between traditional therapy and massage, but we thought when the authors summarized the data, they kind of um, <coughs> maybe exaggerated a little bit more than the actual data. Um, the study showed there was not enough of a marked difference in the results, therefore not justified in making a concrete conclusion besides that the two types both benefit patients. Um, our thought indicating further research is needed is also verified by the authors too. Um, they also agree that more research is needed. Um, and we thought some of the big things were having a larger sample and then, um, yes, the Good frame. Job. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> And less bias than anything, the just the convenient sample of the patients that were already there. So. Um, the implications for practice, they, they, they stated pretty clearly. They're pretty detailed. Um, they talked about how um, the research study results offer additional evidence that massage therapy offers when they feel back pain, and they went into why massage therapy, the, the perks of um, massage therapy, such as not being invasive and not having to require meds and not being as costly and things like that. So they had some good implications for practice that they discussed. Um, as for the quality of, or the written presentation, we thought the quality of writing was good. It was pretty clear, easy to read. It flowed nicely. Um, the tables and charts supported the data. That was really easy. It's a lot of times you see those charts and what they were talking about there. Why even bother? But it was really clear to yeah. see what they were trying to show. Um, we did notice it was not an APA format. Um, the citations were numbered and referenced by numbers in the reference list. We found it was kind of made it easy and more clear to read, but it was not an APA format. <laughs> so just to kind of summarize what we found to be the biggest strengths and weaknesses, um, they did begin with a really specific, clearly stated purpose, which we thought was good. Um, and as the article went on, then the downfall was that they began to pose additional questions that weren't necessarily addressed in the study. Um, some of the literature review discussed wasn't quite pertinent to the purpose, we thought. The research design procedures were selected and used well. Um, there could have been some improvement with the larger sample and the random sample like we discussed. 
Um, the study findings clearly answered the stated purpose of the study. They were clear and detailed with the implications for practice. Um, and then, like we said, it didn't use APA, but it was well written and clearly stated. So now, we will pose the question to you guys. We would like to know by your colored folks if you would accept this manuscript, accept those reservations, caution, or completely <laughs> stop and reject it. So it looks like everyone is unanimous. Is that the word? It's been a long time. It's unanimous. Everyone would accept the reservations. Um, probably would need a little more digging into the data or a new sample. Um, but we agree with that as well. Did you say that, like, you said it was a convenient sample, but was it? Randomized which mm -hmm. patients would get it? Oh, yeah, no, it was, it was, well, yeah, it was no, it was convenience. It was um, just people that were in this certain hospital oh, yeah. for back pain, so it was yeah. very. But, like, could they choose, could they volunteer one way or another? I mean, I'm just trying to think, you know, like. It was volunteer, yeah, they didn't have to do it. I mean, like, volunteer for the control or volunteer for the. Um, no. Because I was just trying to, yeah, I was trying to think people who are, like, addicted to pain meds or something like that. Right, and, and actually they said easier. that anyone that was on medications as well was excluded right away because okay. everyone failed to isolate. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And what was the traditional treatment? It was just um, pain meds. Pain assortments of, yeah, yeah, anything, like, more medical, you, not holistic. Standard yeah. treatment. Yeah, nothing on the right <clears throat> Certainly there wasn't that big of a difference, but if you're looking at side effects of meds or cost of medications or other therapies, massage would be a better avenue than that. So. Good. Any other questions? Sorry we don't have treats. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> yeah, beautiful story. <laughs> if you'd like you us to hold